and we're on. We're on. I'm back with another boxy charm, boxy ipsy, ips boxy review. I just got my box. It was delayed because in Iowa we had uh, Armageddon, <laughs> massive snowstorm. Got like 12 inches. My box is a little warped, but I think everything inside is fine. Thank God. This box this month was interesting because, so I switched the debit card that it was being paid by and I didn't switch it in time. So like the payment got stuck in the middle. And um, so I couldn't make my choices until day two. I tried repeatedly, like multiple different times, via the browser, via Ipsy on Facebook, or the link on Instagram, and my app, and nothing was working. So I actually commented on one of their posts, and I actually got a comment back, and then they said, DMS, DM us all your information, and we'll look into it. And they looked into it, that I got an answer back fairly quickly, which I was pretty surprised. I was very satisfied with that. And it was fully my fault. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was fully my fault. Um, I'm just a dipshit. And they were like, yeah, it looks like you switched your payment options, but we were able to bill you, no problem. So refresh the app tomorrow morning at whatever time, central standard time, and you'll be able to make your choices and um, do any add-ons and stuff. And I was like, okay, sweet. And I was able to do it, no problem but I did miss out on, you know, the good items. So it is what it is. I still think it's a pretty good box. I really wanted that, um, the watermelon sunscreen by Glow Recipe. I think it's available as an add-on on the app. I haven't looked at it. I need to, um, cause my current sunscreen by Pacifica, they don't make any more this stuff it's amazing it's made my skin look amazing and they discontinued it Pacifica I used to rave about you we're on a break she made me mad <laughs> okay so anyways let's get into the box okay let me let me what do I want to do Okay, so I think this was a choice. Um, this is the Rhode Isle Mascara XXL Extreme Lash Maximizer. Black Velvet. I stay don't needing mascara because BoxyCharm just keeps sending me more and more and more, which I love. That one by um, Callie Ray. This one. The Tubi Mascara come hell or high water. I didn't like it at first. Um, I kind of let it sit for about a week and then I use it in conjunction with this guy that I also got from BoxyCharm a couple of months ago, this Neen. I go in with this first and then I go in with this and it, whew, love it. And I don't know per se if it's really like protecting my lashes from being pulled out because it is a tubing mascara because I'm using it in conjunction with the other mascara that isn't a tubing mascara but I do really like the formula I don't have any issues taking it off either thank god anyways cute matte black packaging nice thick cube okay I might get done with that That smells like the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the black and gold tube. Memories. I wore that mascara in like high school. Love that for me. Ooh, this one I also was super excited for. This one, I think I chose this. <clears throat> so this is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Gel and Brow Enhancing Serum. Oh, this is dark. Hopefully, it's not too dark. I don't think about that. I didn't see that there was another color, though. I love the Grande Cosmetics uh, Lash Serum. It's my favorite. It made my lashes grow amazingly. They're the reason why they look the way they are right now. 
The brow serum is, I didn't really see m much for results on that one. Um, plus this is a brow gel. All I use are brow gels anyways. I literally just soup, 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 fill in and I go. Cause I have pretty good brows as is. I just have a couple of like sparse areas and they're not as like full and dark as I want them to be. Oh, really? You're gonna be that kind of packaging that just doesn't want to come off? Why do they do this? Yeah. Dang. Cute packaging. It's just a little itty bitty brush. Maybe just putting it sparsely through my brows and then like blending it out. It's the right undertone. It's cool ashy brown, which is exactly what I need. Okay, um, one of these brush sets were not a choice. I think it was the other one. I'm pretty sure I chose this one. It just got to the point where I was like, I, none of this looks good, so I'm just gonna go with brushes, which is just like my trauma response. Uh, this is by Wing Me. Cute little purple envelope. Envelope. These are cute. Very pretty handles that iridescent. Oh, these are interesting. Oh, this one's so interesting. This is why I chose it. Okay, this looks like that Rare Beauty concealer brush. Concealer brush? I'm pretty sure that's what it looks like. There's no name on it. It's like the size of my thumb, but it's like angled and swoopy. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I wouldn't use it for concealer, it's way too small, but it's shedding. Well, that's not good. Hopefully it stops. Super cute. I love that it like changes. I love holographic. Okay, the other small one. Like a loose highlighter. She cute. Very long. I wouldn't use it for an eye, but I look. Then this one. This one is so weird. Oh, she's so soft. She's so soft. She's a duo fiber. But she's like, sure. I don't know what I would use this for. Under eye setting powder. I don't know about cream brush. It's been a long day. I don't know about cream blush. Maybe powder. I don't know about, hmm. I don't know. One of the two. Maybe highlighter. Interesting, I don't know. Ooh, I might use these tomorrow. Cause curiosity got the cat on that one for sure. This brush set was the one that was not a choice. These feel like really big. So these are from Game Beauty. Eyes on me for essential eyeshadow brush set. Schwing. Oh, these are massive. Okay, glad I wasn't tripping. I love the mauve color that the wand is and then it has like the little grippy thing so where's another brush oh god it is way taller this is an ace beauty blender brush why are they so tall That's funny. They're really gonna stick out my brush holder over there. Four little eye brushes. Let me see. EO5. Okay, it doesn't say which one it is. Itty bitty like little blender one. And then this one looks like a shader. An EO4. 
really pretty purple dyed synthetic hair at the end. Oh, this, they're super soft. EO2, Q, and then, yes, this one looks like my E25. This is the EO5. This one looks like my Sigma brush that I love using. Cute. I'm gonna try to use all the brushes tomorrow, if possible. This is, this was chosen. This is the last item in the box because I didn't do any add-ons because I was already kind of just like done and over it at that point. Like day two of constantly trying to do my my um, my box and make my choices, I was like over it. <laughs> I got the Ofra Signature Palette Luxe. Is that what the color is? I don't know. I didn't get a slip in the box or like the pamphlet thing. Oh, it's cardboard packaging. Not what I was expecting at all. Weird. Okay. No mirror? Really? Okay. It's magnetized, which is nice. But the cardboard packaging is throwing me off. I don't like that. And plus no mirror. Berkeley. Bless you. Give me five minutes, Bubba. So it's magnetized here, right there. So then it automatically, which is nice. I don't like the, the cardboard packaging. And then this is like faux leather. This material, it's like faux leather. God, that's weird. Who planned the setup of this palette? Cause like what, it's throwing me off cause of all this extra space down here. And then this thing, like just cut it. Okay. There's like no medium transition shade. Okay, all right. So, this is why I don't really like palettes like these. Okay, so eyeshadow truffle, very soft and creamy. And then let's do eyeshadow brown. Oh, I don't need to say the eyeshadow before, duh, Katie. Those are the two matte shades, super creamy. Swatch pretty good. As swatches, as much as swatches can. And then it has three, oh, it's a four eyeshadow, one highlighter palette. Okay, so then this is the shadow divine. And then this is the highlighter, which is Rodeo Drive. Those two right there. And then the other eyeshadow, which is called Clay, which looks like Divine. It's more orange. Yeah, I'm not very excited about it, but I haven't played with it really yet. Um, the Rodea, Dra Rodea, the Rodeo Drive shade, it like spins like not really in there real solid like it's interesting that actually might be light enough for I can so that I can use it interesting okay um, I'm not very impressed but it's a first impression so Marb. I'm gonna try to use this tomorrow morning I'll have to use like a a transition shade throughout my crease just to get me started. So I have to use my my Trace Blue J Beauty, which is what I use for this. <sighs> so pretty. Seriously, some of the best eyeshadow palettes, hands down, I've ever tried. I freaking love them. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got for my box. Um, nothing too crazy. Hopefully, next month is better. And I'm actually able to like get in on time <laughs> and able to make all my choices and all that jazz. But yeah, 
that's all I got. Hopefully your month was good. Hopefully you have a bright new start to the year. Comment down below and let me know what you got in your box. Like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you next month. Goodbye. Okay,